Hey, I just came back from watching Vikram. Oh my God, Kamal sir, can you believe he is 67 years old? Man, he's dancing like he's a 25 year old dude. Oh, so you mean 25 year olds are very active like him. <laughs> How old are you? 25. Same 25, right? Let alone dance. Just stand quickly without complaining about hip pain. Stand quickly. Hello everyone, this is Soundarya Adimuthu from The Quint and today we will be reviewing the most anticipated multi-starer of the year, Vikram, featuring Kamal Hassan, Fahad Fasil and Vijay Sethupati. It is a befitting comeback for Kamala Hassan to satiate his fans' four-year-long hunger to see him on the big screens. And the film is directed by Lokesh Kanagaraj, who is one of the biggest fans of the actor himself. Disclaimer first, I don't want to tell you anything about the story or the characters because one half of the film is dedicated to discovering who one of the actors is. You're talking about Kamal Hassan, right? He pretends like he's a common man, but then he's a secret agent. Oops, I just said it. Anyways, the title Vikram is borrowed from Kamal Hassan's old film which was released in 1986. However, the story of this new Vikram is set in director Lokesh Kanagaraj's cinematic universe wherein he has interlinked characters from his previous directorial Kaidi and old Vikram. There are a battalion of characters in Vikram but all of them get their due scope to perform even though they might have limited screen time including Kamal Hassan himself. This simply shows Lokesh Kanagaraj's prowess as a writer to value his story over paying the fanboy tributes to his favourite star Kamal Hassan just for the sake of it. But that doesn't mean there is a dearth of mass moments for his favourite star. Because every time Kamal Hassan enters on screen, I don't know what music composer Anirudh Ravichand plugs into his throat. He just starts once. Okay, I don't want to ruin it for you. You just go watch it in the theatres. It's so electrifying, quite literally. The film is in a way an ode to the legendary actor Kamal Hassan. There are umpteen number of references from his old films like Kurudi Punal, Nayagan, Panjatandiram. And all of them, they don't feel force-fitted. They're so organic and they're so good. The point being, you need to do some homework before you watch Vikram. You need to know some of the famous dialogues and references of Kamal sir and also Lokesh Kanagaraj's previous film Kaidi in order for you to appreciate and enjoy the film more. On the other hand, talking about Vijay Sethupati's character, it was so refreshing to see him shed off his usual Vijay sethupati and you know, he had this whistle-worthy and quirky introduction scene which was just brilliant. However, I did find this tight-lipped dialogue delivery to be a distraction more than an interesting characterization. But you know who stole the show for me? It was Fahad Fasil for sure because he just aced it with his all-round performance showing passion, love, anger, everything at the perfect level. Vikram is not a flawless film though, it has logical loopholes but then Lokesh Kanagaraj makes us overlook them with this brilliant power-packed action sequences that follow. They are extremely customized and innovative, contextualized to the story and not a generic hyper-masculine clash. One of the killer action sequences in the film resembles Kamal Hassan's Vishwarubam transformation scene. However, it does not feature Kamal Hassan or Fahad Fasil or Vijay Sethupadi or not even Surya who's done a brilliant cameo role. I don't want to spoil it for you but just go watch the film and experience the goosebumps for yourself. With references to biryani, retro music at the perfectly absurd timings, quirky humour and action plot interlaced with an emotional core, I think Lokesh Kanagaraj is creating a trademark for himself. The best part about Vikram is that Lokesh Kanagaraj lures you into his world, making Vikram an interactive film watching experience. He keeps us playing this guessing game, okay? Every time you guess something wrong, he rewards you with a surprise at the most unexpected moment. But when you do guess something right, it doesn't bore you, but rather it gives you double the happiness. For instance, the interval block is one of the best high points in the film and you kind of anticipate, you know what's going to happen. But still, that will not stop you from experiencing one of the best fan moments in the film. With an open ending and a scope for a potential sequel, Vikram ends on a high note or rather gears up for a new beginning. And my rating for Vikram is 4 quins out of 5. For the detailed text review, head to thequin.com.